How much of a difference does the filament brand and color make in 3D printing? I printed 7 benches using different PLA filaments, all with the exact same settings, but each filament was calibrated for optimal results. Today I'll show you how each one came out and the difference between them. My name is Alessio and welcome back to Pixel Forge Lab. If you're new to this channel, please do consider to subscribe. First up is the Bamboo Lab PLA Green. The print quality here is great. Layers are smooth and details are sharp. Bamboo Lab's filament is known for its consistency and you can really see that in this benchy. No stringing or layer issues, just a clean well done print. Next, we've got the Isan PLA Yellow. The bright color really makes this benchy stand out, but I'm noticing slightly more visible layer lines compared to the Bamboo Lab Green. Isan tends to be a bit softer as a material and that's showing up here. The details are good but not quite as sharp. Now the Anacubic PLA White. White filament can be tricky because it shows imperfections more easily. And in this case the details are not as crisp as with the previous prints. However, for a white print it's still a solid result. Holding up better than I expected. Moving on to the Sonlu PLA Blue. This print came out really clean, nice sharp edges and minimal stringing. Sonlo is a budget-friendly brand but it definitely holds its own here. This is one of the cleaner prints in the lineup. Now let's compare that to the Sonlu PLA Red. This filament is fresh out of the box and I was curious to see if the different pigmentation would affect the quality compared to the blue one. The red seemed to have a slightly shinier finish but the print quality is almost identical. Both came out really, really clean. Here is the Polymaker Polylite Pro Black. Black PLA often shows less details, but this print came out surprisingly smooth. Polymaker's filaments usually perform well, and this one is no exception. The layers are tight and the Benchy has a strong, solid feel. And before we move on, I want to give a huge shout out to Polymaker, who is sponsoring this video. Their range of filaments, from their Polylite Pro to their Silk Series, consistently delivers excellent results for all kinds of projects. Whether you're printing for aesthetics or durability, Polymaker has something for every maker out there. I've been using their filaments for a while now and they always come through with high quality, reliable prints. So if you're looking to upgrade your filament game, be sure to check out Polymaker. Thanks again to Polymaker for sponsoring this video. And last but not least, the Polymaker Silk Bronze. The silk finish makes this Benchy look amazing with a shiny, almost metallic appearance. However, silk filaments are more prone to issue with overhangs and fine details. And I can see a bit of that here. It's still a beautiful print though. Also, on a side note on silk filaments, they are very, very abrasive. So you make sure you change your nozzle or use a really strong one. So here they are, 7 benches printed with different filaments. If I had to pick a favorite one based on print quality, the Bamboo Lab Green and Polymaker Black are stands out. And this one is a personal preference, but the Sunlu Blue it's really really cool. They are clean, consistent and the details are spot on. But if we are talking about aesthetics, the Silk Bronze is definitely the most eye-catching, even though it has a few minor imperfections. Seeing all these benches together really shows how much filament type and color can affect the final print. Even with the same settings, you can get different results. It's important to calibrate your filament, but also know that each brand and material will behave a bit differently. If you are working with different filaments, make sure to experiment and adjust your settings. Calibrate each material for the best results. That's the key to avoiding surprise in the print quality. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more 3D printing content. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next one! Next we got the IE Boo Boo. Papi Boo Boo. Moving on to... Moving on to... First up is the Bamboo Lab Plia Boo Boo First up in the... Known for its Kositi Boo Boo Ba. Here you come through White with Boo Boo. But also, no. Oh my god. 